Hello everybody. Um, thank you for tuning into my video here on Drusifer is Idiocracy. Um, I'm sorry I didn't make a video yesterday. Um, I uh, came home from, from work, I ate, um, did an online meeting, and then I totally, time got away from me. And so by the time I remembered, it was like 9.30 and I was dead tired. So um, I thought of having to record a video, then wait for it to upload and everything because the upload, it, it, it varies. Sometimes it takes like 20 minutes, sometimes it takes like 35, 40 minutes, depending on how long the video is. I'm sure you're all aware of this as you all have your own channels. Um, so the thought of staying up until like 11 o'clock did not sound good to me because I was tired. Because um, night before last, I only got like five and a half hours of sleep. So um, I got really tired at about eight o'clock. Um, so I wouldn't have been high energy anyways. And there's just would have been like, well, he's being really boring. I've been like, and the whole time I would have been saying, oh my God, I'm being really boring. Um, so it would have um, um, not, not been as, as good. And, and I know you guys say, it doesn't matter how I act and everything. You just want me to be myself. But um, I'm someone who likes to entertain. So I, I like to be my full self so I can do something silly and make people laugh. Um, I don't plan them. They just kind of come out. Um, but anyways, um, the reason I was, the reason for my video today is to talk about um, my work. I have to do drug testing for people who are in drug courts or are mandated by DHS or come in for like um, uh, employment screenings, um, either to keep their job or find out if they're going to get fired or um, uh, for pre-employment. So we have all kinds of people who come in. Well, this morning, nobody came in. I did do some work though. She asked them, I, um, the lady I'm, I'm working for asked me to do some stuff, which was nice because I feel bad that I'm sitting there doing practically nothing and getting paid $10 an hour for it. Um, you know, if, if it was 12, I'm sure they would like force me to do something, but you know, I, I do what I can and it, you know, that's all I can do. So, you know, she's like, as long as you're just here to, if a guy does come in, that's all I need. She goes, I don't mind paying you for doing nothing. So I spend most of the time on my phone or crocheting or looking for patterns um, for, uh, for something to use this yarn with, which I wish I had the yarn with me so I could one, show it to you and two, um, ask for ideas of what to do with it. It's, it's um, a Twirls Deluxe from Hobie, H-O-B-B-I-I.com. Um, and it's got 1,093 yards. And um, it says it's perfect for a shawl or a scarf. And the way I make my scarves, I make them really, really long so uh, and thin. So I, I don't think I could do a scarf with it because it will be insanely long. Um, which is, I mean, I don't care if I have to wrap it around three times, that's fine. But it's a really, really, really cute um, two weight yarn. And I wanna use it for something that's lightweight so I can use it in the spring and fall. Um, it's more spring colors though. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not very, um, it won't be insanely warm. It's, it's a, it's a cotton, a 50% cotton, uh, 50 cent, uh, 50, percent acrylic yarn it's from cotton kings um and it's so soft and the colors are just amazing so i'm um i'm going to figure something out if you guys have any ideas um i was going to start looking on ravelry after lunch um was, i'm home on my lunch break and i get an hour and a half so i thought um i would do the video and then eat so that way i can get a video in today so um if anybody has any ideas or places to look besides Ravelry and um, um, Fiber Spider and um, Bag of Day, which I, well, no, I haven't looked through all the Bag of Day ones yet, but hers tend to be pretty feminine. Um, but if anybody can direct me to maybe a channel or anything that has nice shawls, um, I would love to, to look up and see, um, see as many possibilities as possible so I can finally decide on one. I found one on Fiber Spider that I kind of like and it doesn't look, it looks kind of masculine. Most of his stuff um, on Fiber Spider's channel are very masculine. Um, you know, even if it is a shawl or a shawlet or um, 
or anything. It's it's stuff that's not super girly, so anybody can use it, and which I love about that, uh, about his channel. Um, but I you know, and even if it's someone who has girly ones, I might find one that I like and don't care if it's a little bit um, decorative um, when it comes to a shawl. But if you know of any good scarf patterns or any good shawl patterns, please in the comments down below, um, let me know. Um, but yeah, back to work. Um, the two people that I'm working with um, are so awesome. So, so awesome. Like I'm bummed I'm only working here for two weeks. I wish it was a new job that was permanent because they are so awesome. So fun to talk to, um, so easygoing. Um, it's just, it's been really great these these four days. Well, it's not been a full four days yet, um, but we're getting there. Um, <laughs> uh, anyways. Um, the window is open for where my mom can hear me talking, so I have news, um, but I can't share it right now. So, um, just one second. Hey, mom, will you close the window? What? Okay. Well, let me know when you go sit down that way so I can not disgusting stuff I don't it's not I don't care if the neighbors here all right they're closing the window just one second you're gonna close it all the way Okay. I mean, I can open it back up when I'm done. I'm not going to do a crazy long video. Sorry about this. Okay. Nope, they're not closing it all the way. So I'll just have to talk quieter. Um, with my money from the, working this job for two weeks, I am planning on buying a bunch of yarn specifically for giveaways. Some of it is, is for me, but a lot of it is for giveaways. So I've decided I'm going to... Well, one, I still have to do the 200 subscriber giveaway. Um, I know I haven't done that yet because I said I would do every hundred, um, but I also need money to send this stuff off. So uh, I'm going to use the money to um, get stuff for giveaways and do um, um, the shipping, be able to afford the shipping. Because um, I believe, well, Mimi can't do, I think you said you live in Michigan and I know Claire Williams lives in Canada. So, um, and I have another um, shipment that I need to do that goes out of the country. So, um, and so it's, um, going to be a lot of money, especially since the boxes have to be so big for the, for all the yarn. Um, and, um, Claire, I think you're going to like the extra skein that I put in there for you. Um, so, and I might do two skeins. I've, I'm trying to decide. There were two I couldn't pick between. And, um, so I think I might just do both. So, be prepared to be really happy. Um, anyways, but I decided my giveaways are going to start to be bigger um, than what I have, what I did for the first one. Um, but I still need to get rid of all that yarn that's in the packs because I want to get rid of that first. So um, I think I'll figure out something to do with that because um, I want to give away like. Not saying that, that, that yarn is high quality, but it's, um, in my opinion, like not bland. That's, I think that's why I haven't used it. It's just, I thought I was gonna use it for a, for a Christmas project for, for my nieces and nephews, um, but I ended up not making anything this last Christmas because I was in rehab. Um, and most of the fall before, I was out actively using, so I didn't have time to. So um, I think I'm gonna figure out what to, to do with it all. But um, I know Claire Williams is going to be really happy. So um, I think once I get all this yarn in, I will do um, some unboxing videos and just not tell you what's going to be planned for a giveaway and what's for me. Not a lot of the stuff. Well, no, no I don't want to give anything away. Um, but I've been yarn shopping at three different companies and the most bang for the buck are coming from um, Hobie and Hobium. Uh, Hobie is having a big sale right now. Everything is like 
from 30 to 50 percent well i think like 20 to 45 percent off i've seen some that are more than 45 uh for or 40 or so but um the bulk are less than 40. um but there's i mean i have seen ones that were 50 percent off so um and i've seen some that were only 10. But, you know, it just, it varies. Um, so if you want to check out their site, H-O-B-B-I-I.com, um, check out their spring sale. It's um, going to be, you're going to get a lot, of, a lot of stuff that's high quality for super cheap. Um, or if you just want to wait and see what I get and what you can possibly win in a future giveaway. So I think um, it's going to be really fun. And so be really excited about it. I'm excited about it. So I just need to get my paychecks from doing this, um, so I can afford to do everything, afford to do all this. So um, it's going to be really nice, and I can't wait to show it all. So um, I will order as soon as I'm able to, and then um, um, do the unboxings. Because um, I love doing unboxings. I love, love, love. I love unboxing videos. It introduces you to yarn that you didn't know about, or um, yarn that is um unique really unique um that's i don't like shopping in the u.s anymore for yarn one compared to what i can get online it's so expensive when you shop in person and two they never have as good of a variety in the stores here in oklahoma that probably they do maybe at some of yours uh because the joann's that i went to when i lived in st louis was packed i mean they had aisles and aisles and aisles and aisles full of everything the one here has like two rows and that's it you know like and they're small rows so it's just it's not as fun to use joann's anymore like like it was whenever i was in missouri i would exclusively use joann's until i found out about hobium and hobie now i primarily shop with them um and um i have picked out some really awesome stuff um, from both of them. So I, I'm really looking forward to uh, showing that to you all. Um, I don't know what else I have today. I think this is just going to be another short one. I um, only have an hour and a half to come home, eat, and go back to work, which the round trip, the, the drive to work is like 20 minutes. So that's not that bad. Um, but I left work late today because I wasn't paying attention to the time. I didn't leave until 11.36, and I was, off, I was on lunch break at 11.30. Um, so it's, it's been okay. London Fog. We're here on Z1077 with Drusifer doing the London Fog Show. I said it wrong that time. I, yeah. My mind's focused on food right now because I'm hungry. Um... So I think with that, I'm going to end this video. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and be kind to one another, especially during this time. Um, it's easy to get frustrated and want to take it out on other people. Um, if you're stuck at home or you go to the store or anything like that. So um, I, I'm not ordering. I'm just encouraging everyone to... Uh, remain patient and be kind to one another if you do see another person or it could be the like the people in your house with you uh, You're gonna get on each other's nerves and it's not going to Always be copacetic that you're all getting along. I'm sure unless you have like the most amazing family that nobody does anything wrong Nobody pisses anybody else off or anything like that, but um, Yeah, just remain patient be good to one another and um Go for a walk. Get some exercise. As long as wherever you're living, they're allowing you to leave the house. Like here, um, it, we're supposed to be staying at home, but I've seen people do, uh, going out for walks and stuff like that. So um, I'm, I'm sure they wouldn't give someone a $750 ticket for going on a walk in their neighborhood. Um, so I, uh, yeah, I'm done today. So like, like I said already, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, everybody have a great day. Bye.